Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Becky. I'm so happy you clicked on this video. So today I'm going to talk about some frequently asked questions I've been getting on my video about the Costco Thomasville sectional. So I got this sectional May 22nd of this year and I put it together by myself the same day and we've had it ever since. So we've had it for um, over a month now, so probably like six weeks or so, and I just kind of wanted to answer some questions that I've been getting in the comments in one video, so it's all in one place for anybody who is considering buying this. First question is, how much did I pay for it? So I ordered it May 22nd. I got it a few days later. Sorry about that. So I ordered it May 22nd, and all together with tax and everything, I paid eighteen twenty three twenty four. I think it was sixteen. 99 when I got it, but the price is now 19.99.99. So $2,000 is what the price is for it now. So one of the questions I've been getting is how is the couch holding up? I don't think we've had it long enough to have any issues pop up if durability is going to come into question, but so far I haven't had any problems with it. Another comment I got was that the couch isn't like squishy. Um, or plush enough and I will say it is a firmer couch It's definitely not like the most bouncy or like squishy couch I've ever sat on But it's not really been an issue for me I sit on the couch a lot of the day because I've told you guys before I work from home and a lot of the time I like to sit down here with the dogs and just be comfortable with my laptop so I I think it is great for sitting at long periods of time I haven't had an issue with it, but that's just me. How easy is it to clean? So I'll show you guys how I just cleaned it, but I use a vacuum attachment with like the soft bristles on the end to get dog hair out of it. I have two dogs that shed a ton and both get on the couch often. We use a vacuum attachment a couple times a week just to get dog hair off. It's pretty quick and easy and works and does the job. I've also used a lint roller if I don't feel like grabbing the vacuum out, so yeah. As far as like cleaning any stains on the couch, I haven't had that issue yet, but I think I would just start with like warm water and a rag and see if that did the trick. If not, I would probably look into like upholstery friendly cleaners. I think that's what the website says. So that would be what I would do. And this is the beige color couch. I will say it definitely leans gray. I think it can go either way. So I have a gray lounge chair in here and it goes well with that it doesn't clash I have a gray and white rug as you guys have seen I have like gray and white dog beds I do a lot of gray and beige and neutrals in here with like the pop of blue and this couch goes great with it so this is the beige color the dimensions list how uh, long it is on the website and I will say that the website is accurate in the dimensions um, the back of the sectional, how I have it lined up with the four pieces is 142 inches. I had somebody ask if um, that was accurate and it is, I measured it myself. And then there was a couple unrelated questions to the couch, just about my house in general. I showed our old coffee table when I was moving the house around in the sectional video. And that is actually not even a coffee table. It was just a fixture from a store that my husband used to work at. And we just took it home years ago and have had it ever since. So it worked well for us. I think I'm gonna use it in another room in the house cause it is, it's cute and it's nice. Last question was what is the paint color in here? And I'm so sorry, you guys, I don't know. This is the color it was painted when we got here. And as far as them leaving paint for us, it was a match that doesn't even match perfectly. We've had to fill in a couple of uh, places and it doesn't match perfectly. I think that's all the questions for now. If you guys wanna know anything more about this sectional, please leave a comment. I have a lot of affordable furniture that I've bought online in this house, like things from Wayfair and Amazon. And I think I'm going to do a video where I share all of my affordable furniture finds. So maybe you guys would find that interesting. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see that. And I also have a video coming out in a couple weeks where I'm redoing our master bedroom on a budget. So we're getting a new bed. I'm probably gonna end up painting a few things. So excited about that. Yeah, so make sure you subscribe if you wanna see more home decor and lifestyle content on my channel. 
And yeah, leave a comment if you have any more questions about this sectional, I would be happy to answer it. So hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and thanks for watching.